Hi everyone, this is Miss Tavares, and I am uploading a do now that I have given to my students to prepare themselves for the human body systems that we have been studying. Thank you so much for everyone's support on my channel. I truly appreciate it and I have a big passion to make sure that you pass the living environment exam. I'm going to post an additional video on how to find and get my course if you need more help than what I have to offer on YouTube. So let's just get started. That video will be posted in uh, about an hour and a half from now. Um, so right now we're going to discuss only three human body systems and we're going to focus on what you see right here on the screen which are images of what you will find on the regions exam and detail information of each of these organs or organ structures and what you basically need to know about them for the living environment exam. Now, just a heads up, you will not, um, they don't really test too heavily on human body systems. It's really big on ecology, genetics, um, those kind of, definitely especially ecology is the number one um, heavily tested topic on the living environment exam. But you must prepare for all because every point counts and you just just never know. So, okay, let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do when you see a um, human body system is to read the directions and see if the directions tell you what it is, which they usually do. So this is a human body system <clears throat> and we are going to first look at the organs and see if just by looking at the organs, we can tell what human body system it is. So here uh, I, I gave direction to my students saying, using your knowledge of human body systems, which they of course know at this point, we've already had the lesson, the following human body systems. Also say what system they're in, if they're urinary, which is part of the excretory system, circulatory, cardiovascular, or digestive system. So here we have A, which is the mouth. We have B, which is the esophagus. C, which is the stomach. D, which is the pancreas. E, and I don't like the way E is positioned, but E is the small intestine. F is the large intestine. G is the gallbladder. And H is the liver. So out of all of these organs, we can definitely decide that this system is, you've guessed it, the digestive system. Apologies on the typing. Um, we're gonna label A, apologies on the volume. Let me just adjust something here. So peristalsis is the muscular contraction pushing your food along your digestive tract but the living environment regions really emphasizes on the peristalsis happening in your esophagus, which I'm gonna, which is our next, um, our next figure that we're gonna take a look at. Then we have C, which is this chemical contracts um, and punches your food around. I mean, I say punches because the you know digestive videos that I've seen. Are just ridiculous with the way the cartoon animations are it's like punching your food around okay so let's go to D D is an organ that kind of fits into two different human body systems so this particular case it's a part of the digestive system it, it assists um, it's not part of where the food flows it is not part of the food path so we're gonna add that as an important point nothing and insulin is a hormone. And what insulin does, it controls have, of course, digestion happening here. Digestion happens in the small intestine. So if you have a living environment question that asks, where does digestion take place? Digestion takes place in the small intestine. So in the small intestine, you have something called a microvilli. And uh, apologies on not having a figure for that but that's something you could google image uh, there are these little projections in your intestines that increase the surface area and what they do is that they you ate 
And of course, the food happens here. So you're also going from your food and uh, you, you might still have some digestion happening there as well. So we did mouth, we did the esophagus, we did the stomach, we did the pancreas, we did the small intestine. Now we're going to do the colon. And I'm just going in order of, which is a, a larger. Did I? No, of course not. Because <laughs> autocorrect. <laughs> Okay, so uh, let me just minimize this text so that we can uh, fit in some more within the screen. And uh, we will be highlighting in a minute. So now the next thing we have is G, which is the gallbladder stores bile. And bile is what's used to help digest bile. The gallbladder stores the bile and the gallbladder then um, ejects the bile into the small intestine so that it emulsifies with your um, chyme, which was produced in your stomach, which mixes and it, it helps you digest fat. So that is it for this. And we had we talked about a lot of information here. So just uh, replay if you need to. Um, but this is basically all you need to know for the living environment digestive system. Now you do need to know diseases. Um, there will be much more detailed information in my class, in my online course, which is going to launch at the end of spring break. So I'm going to work extra hard to make sure that you have that accessible. Okay, so now let's go to the next one. So here we have a different diagram but it's basically the same thing that we just discussed but just different and that's one of the things that you'll always get from me you'll get the same thing different diagrams different ways um, but the same thing so this again is the digestive system again um and 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 e is the transports blood uh, doing gas gas exchange for oxygen and fusion happens there with the will be the vein three will be the system even though they work together d is because this bothers me um so those are all the organs and the organ um human body systems they belong to okay here we have the um, a very, 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 very special human body system that you need to be very clear that you know the difference. So there's a big umbrella human body system, which is called the excretory, excretory system. And the function of the excretory system is to remove toxins from your body. Okay? So once you remove toxins from your body, you have different organs involved in removing toxins from your body. It's not just what we're about to um, break down right now. So the excretory system consists of the skin, which is called the in integumentary system. Diagram is um, the, the kidneys filter urea. urea. <laughs> the blood vessels, which are the arteries, veins, and capillaries, and then your blood. So this is your blood. And here, oh, oh, science teacher, sorry. Um, so the platelets help with stopping you bleeding out when you cut yourself both internally and externally. It clots those areas. It, it builds up in those areas where um, you have injured yourself or ruptured any arteries and it stops you from bleeding out and then it begins the healing process of an injury a cut um, which is a miraculous thing and uh, this this one is a bit of a process which will be um, if you need to know what that is which you should know uh, that would be on my online courses so for my students um, this is all you need to know there is um, one diagram that I guess I missed here. It, it probably got deleted when I was editing, 
but uh, it was the peristalsis video. I'm sorry, the peristalsis um, diagram. Uh, so it just had the esophagus in three different stages, the food on the top, the food in the middle, and the food in the bottom. It's just basically explaining the transport of food from the mouth to the stomach through muscular contractions. Um, and I'm sure you'll get that once you see it. So for my students, uh, study, take a look at this uh, short video, being short in comparison to my other videos, which are like an hour, hour and a half long. Study, study, study. Um, you are going to do great. The test is tomorrow for everyone else. Uh, keep watching my videos. Subscribe so you can get um, updates and you will, you know, get notification that I posted something. Um, but you know, for my YouTube channel, sometimes things are random as I'm teaching. Sometimes it's very strategic. And, uh, but the online course that I'm going to offer is something that is very, very structured, very organized, and will guarantee you to pass no matter what. Um, so more on that in a few hours when I'll post uh, the next video. So students, have a good night. We had great fun in Dave and Buster's. We had a trip, everyone. And study, 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 study. Don't come in uh, without studying. <laughs> have a great night.